Today we will know about brain aneurysm clipping. Aneurysm is a ballooning out of thinned vessel wall that can lead to dangerous complications if it ruptures. Once brain aneurysm is diagnosed by neuroimaging, DSA or CT angiogram, after discussing about the approaches, risks, benefits of clipping of aneurysm, surgery is carried out after the consent. Clipping procedure is advised when aneurysm is in the anterior circulation, wide neck or middle circulatory aneurysm. It is carried out in operation theatre. Surgery commonly carried out is terianal craniotomy also known as frontotemporal craniotomy. It is carried out by trained neurosurgeon under high magnification of neuromicroscopes. Surgery is carried out under general anesthesia. Once you are anesthetized, you will be asleep throughout the operation. The cut wound is made over the skull, then small portion of the bone is removed. Sometimes supra orbital craniotomy, small portion above the eyebrow also will be removed. Uh, will be removed. So once bone is removed, neurosurgeon can approach your brain. Once aneurysm is encountered with the small mini clips or titanium clips now most widely used is used to occlude the aneurysm. Thereafter, blood flow into the aneurysm is prevented. It will prevent the major bleeding into the brain and its complication that can occur due to aneurysm rupture. After aneurysm is clipped, surgeon confirms the any other vessels which is inadvertently clipped by the clip using micro doppler or indocyanin green angiography or ICG. After procedure, portion of the bone is replaced back and fixed with the plate and screws. If aneurysm is large, giant, it is called, various methods are used along with the clipping is used to clip the main feeding artery and then do the bypass procedure. This bypass procedure is also known as brain bypass. It is similar to heart bypass. Here blood vessels from the blood vessel from the hand or leg is harvested and we will be connecting the brain vessels, brain vessels to the scalp vessels. After clipping procedure the patient is assessed by neuro anesthesia team and neuro ICU team and it will be decided to win off from anesthesia and recovery follows. About surgical procedure, you have to discuss with your neurosurgeon in detail and recovery depends upon from person to person and nature of the aneurysm and clinical presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.